After losing an initial ruling in state court, the Illinois Attorney General's office Thursday moved to federal court a lawsuit challenging the validity of the state's stay-at-home coronavirus order. Attorney General Kwame Raoul's office stated in its court filing that it was moving the case from state court because it involves U.S. constitutional rights of free religion and due process. The suit, brought by State Representative Darren Bailey, had been set for a hearing at 1 p.m. Friday before Clay County Judge Michael McCanny, who had said he would resolve the case then. Bailey's attorney filed an emergency request Thursday afternoon for the federal court to send the case back to state court. McCanny had previously ruled that Bailey was not bound by Gov. J.B. Pritzker's executive order shutting down most businesses and churches and requiring people to stay at home with certain exceptions. Bailey is now attempting to broaden that ruling to make the order invalid for all citizens statewide. The Attorney General's office issued a release Thursday stating, the law gives a defendant the right to remove a case to federal court when a plaintiff files a complaint in state court alleging a violation of rights that are enshrined in the U.S. Constitution, and we have done so in several other cases challenging the governor's executive orders. Pritzker had blasted McCanny's ruling and called Bailey's actions a political stunt that was endangering people's health. Last week McCanny had suggested the Attorney General's office was shopping for a different judge. In denying the state's request to move the case to Sangamon County, Bailey's attorney, Tom Dever, said. Bailey argues that the stay-at-home order is too restrictive and is unnecessarily jeopardizing people's livelihoods. In a statement, Dever called the state's move to federal court disreputable forum shopping, saying the attorney general and governor had contrived constitutional issues that he never raised in his suit. He said he trusted the federal court would send the case back to state court. Bailey was removed from the General Assembly meeting Wednesday in Springfield for refusing to wear a mask. Last week, a federal judge in Chicago rejected a request by two area churches to hold services with social distancing precautions despite the governor's order limiting gatherings to 10 people or fewer.